I'm currently making my trek to northern British Columbia, and I'm going through a town right now called Lillooet. This area definitely feels like cowboy country. Like coming around this corner, I'm waiting to see a horse and buggy and a good old cowboy shootout. So when the sign says Lillooet is guaranteed rugged, they ain't lying. That backdrop right there, I think was one of the first times I ever stood on the top of something and yelled, What's up, weirdos? I was camped right there. Right on that little ridge there. I pulled my van, drove all the way around that ridge. I parked right there. I think that was the first time. I might be wrong, but I think it was the first time I yelled, What's up, weirdos? You ever notice when you get into these small towns that it feels like every house has a car competition? Like, who can put the most broken down cars on your front yard? Is that like a status thing? Or is these small towns just full of car people? <laughs> I can get on board with that. Anyway, this place is called Hat Creek Ranch. And shortly after I left getting these shots here, ah, oh, how beautiful is that? I got a message from a subscriber that said, Hey Chrome, come on into the blacksmith shop here at Hat Creek Ranch anytime. I'm guessing that person's probably the, uh, probably the blacksmith. Sorry man, I didn't get your invite until a day after I drove by here, but I'll catch you on the next one. But that right there shows you that we are definitely, definitely in cowboy country. Where the heck am I? Just up the road over here is where the road comes to a T and we make the big choice to go north. And so it begins. Bust a U turn. There's uh, there's some wicked vehicles over here. Damn, look at that truck. Ooh. And this guy's got some cool toys. Look at the jacked up one there. That's wicked. So cool. No more toys, Chrome. No more toys. <laughs> Yo, what the heck is that? That is one wild bus. Holy cool. Oh, that thing is awesome. Look at look how it goes up with the top windows there. Stuff like that, if someone ever gets the chance to redo it, incredible. I love hitting all these small towns and finding stuff like that. It's wild out here. Where do they find these things? I wanna buy one of those. I wanna convert it into my home. Imagine that unique thing built into a big four by four cool off-road aggressive overland vehicle. That's a classic old Mustang. Nineteen eighty four. Sixteen thousand bucks. Well, that was the little town of Clinton, BC. Holy cow, we've been putting on some serious kilometers today. <laughs> We're in Williams Lake, BC. There's an insurance place right here. I actually got insurance on my van up here once. I was traveling and my insurance was running out. I'm like, no! Anyway guys, just popped into town here to grab some smaller bills from the ATM machine just in case we hit a campground somewhere and we need some cash. It's always good to carry cash in your van for those reasons. 
That's okay, guys. I wouldn't have hit you. <laughs> All right, we're heading out of town. How we get out of here? Not really too sure. Let's try going left and right and right and left until we uh, until we find a way out. This is the third time I've topped up today. <laughs> One, two, three. I always do that when I travel. I like to keep my gas tank topped up as much as I can because you never know when we're driving and we run into a backcountry road somewhere. Better to be prepared. Man, we sent it hard today. We are in Quesnel, BC. Just making a pit stop here. We're not staying. Just gonna top up on some groceries. Look at that sandwich on a cheese bun. <laughs> nice job. That was the best grocery store sandwich I've ever had. But something cool happened to me back there. I'm driving and I can spot my Chain Gym logo a mile away. That purple means <gasps> hot shower. I see it and I'm like, oh cool, they have a... And I don't need to go there because I had a hot shower this morning in the bush. So I think if I was on the road full time and doing a combination of backcountry and city in the same week. I just wait and have my showers in the bush with my hot tap and cancel my chain gym membership and save me the 45, 55 bucks a month, depending on whatever you're spending on your membership. Mine's 45. My goodness. Just epic. It was, it was so fun to drive by that going, I still smell good. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna grab a campsite tonight. Um, there's one up here that I stayed at a few years back and I figured, you know what, hey, it was a nice little spot, so we're gonna slide in there for the night. That's a good spot. <laughs> well, come home, baby. We have a fair amount of uh, tree coverage, but uh, hey, I'm optimistic. We've been in the van, in the AC, driving today, and I didn't realize how hot it was outside. I jumped out a couple times and got some shots and things in some of the towns. Me and Chris went for a few little itty bitty baby walks, but not enough for us to get warm until we pulled up here. And I realized the inside of my van was like eight, nine degrees cooler than it was outside here. Now she's just hot. Crazy, are you serious? Is that what you're doing to keep cool? Look how dirty you are, buddy. Just rolling around in the dirt. Hey, does that work? <laughs> if it does, I think I might try it, bro. <laughs> I thought for sure there would be worse bugs than this up here in the north side, but that's it. All the driving we've done since we left Vancouver Island, that's it. <laughs> Normally, like out here, it'd be just black from bugs. So far, maybe we, uh, maybe we get off lucky. I don't know when bug season is up here, but uh, not bad so far. When does bug season start up here? Whoa. Are you guys okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. How you doing, man? Good. Good. He doesn't have food. You want this? What is that, bro? Hey. <laughs> See you later, man. Yeehaw! <laughs> the parks guy's name is Sean. Uh, he, he, he was pretty cool. He's like, so, uh, are you vlogging? What's up, you guys? Cooking with Chrome, camping edition. My glasses are fogging and I can't see I'm dropping broccolini on the table. We're gonna make the world famous peanut broccolini udon noodle dish. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to focus here, but I, I can't see. Now you guys can't see. <laughs> Come on, let me get this for you. Hey, is that any better? <laughs> I 
What am I gonna do without that peanut sauce the rest of the summer? We need more peanut <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Ow! Son of a... Fudge. <laughs> I'm trying to Google where I can get more of that peanut sauce, but as you can tell, it's not loading whatsoever. Go, 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 go. It's just sitting there. <laughs> I wanna see if I can like order some of this peanut sauce online. It's so good. The hard thing about traveling with a dog is that you really can't do, well, I guess I shouldn't say that, depending on the dog you have. I have an English Bulldog. <laughs> His exercise level is, uh, well, little. And in the summertime, you have to keep it to a bare minimum because they overheat very, very quick. But uh, yeah, grabbing a campground here today offered a chance for us to have some great conversations with some people. And sometimes that's one of the greatest parts about a campground. Oh yeah? Beautiful. What was that? Yeah, I know, I, uh, I make YouTube videos for a living. Just me and the dog, yeah? Oh yeah, wicked. How you doing, Brad? I'm Chrome. Yeah, thanks, man. There was definitely no sneaking up on anybody with this guy. <laughs> he's so, he's so loud. Oh yeah, he's tired. We didn't walk that far, we walked to the dock and that was it. And we're just around the corner here. Oh yeah, like the, there's no me sneaking up on anybody with this guy. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> they were just saying you could hear him walking forever. Was that too much, bro? Hey, was that too much? Just messaging my son, Seth. We have dinner plans for tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Fresh water. I think we're gonna have to start the van a little bit and cool Cruzy down. You okay there, buddy? You may see, bro. Hey, okay, buddy, we'll cool you down, buddy. It's okay. How's the AC, Cruzy? He's sitting right in front of that van, blowing right at his face. The big downside to running the van is then the mufflers get hot and that heat radiates through the floor and on an already stuffy warm night, it makes the van really uncomfortable. But the key right now is to get Mr. Cruzy nice and cool before bed. We maybe walked five minutes, not even five minutes. The dock is right down there. We walked up one road and came straight back down here. Bulldogs do not do good in the summer heat. one ow <laughs> this one blows up my face a little uh a little tip if you don't have a means of dropping the temperature down inside of your vehicle without like moving air and stuff sometimes keeping all the doors closed in your vehicle running your vehicle's air conditioning for a little while will take the humidity out of the air and make it feel very comfortable for you to at least fall asleep and then hopefully overnight the temperature will drop down a little bit and you'll sleep well anyway. But sometimes it's that initial hour or two hours when you're going to bed that the summer heat just kicks the crap <laughs> out of you. But uh, I've done that quite a bit. But you really gotta watch on how much you run your van because that exhaust heat will just radiate. So if you just left a long drive and you plan on pulling over and falling asleep on a hot day, good luck. That floor radiating heat, no matter how much insulation you put down, is going to make you just <sighs> inside of the van. Anyway, guys, I am heading into Prince George tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I have a uh, dinner day with my son, Seth, and then we are heading a little farther north on the coastal side. Is that a coastal side? On the west coast side. 
of BC. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you soon. The farther and farther we travel north, the more backcountry will be in these videos. So guys, buckle up, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't miss out on a single second of the rest of this trip. See you guys soon.